Hi, I'm Mark Gingrass. I want to talk to you about making a tabbed list of charts in R Markdown and generate that so that it produces good results in HTML. So I'm going to give you this code, so don't worry about trying to copy it all. But this is the YAML code at the top. This is the way I like it. It creates a table of contents, etc. It's just something that uh, is a broad view of what your page is going to look like. I'm assuming that you already have some R Markdown familiar familiarity. So let's talk about this right now. What I'm doing is generating charts and I'm pushing those charts into a list. So I have a list of charts that also contain the name of the charts. And then in the second code chunk here, what I have is I have an R script within my notebook, an R script that produces R Markdown so that it can be rendered by Knitter. It's, it's a little bit confusing at first, but you wanna create dynamic web pages, dynamic HTML. So my R itself has to produce the R Markdown language. And that's what this is doing. You can kind of interpret it, but uh, mainly you have to use this word cat and print to print the charts and to print out things to uh, be rendered in R Markdown. So I'm gonna run this now and I'm gonna show you that it's not what it's gonna look like when you actually knit this. So I have two plots, I have plot one and plot two. See these two plots, are slightly different. And then this R console. This R console will not show up on your HTML, so don't worry about that. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to knit this in two ways. Uh, one way you could run into problems, so I want to show you both ways. So you just click on this knit button here, actually this down arrow. You can see preview notebook, knit to HTML, all these different options. You can try preview notebook, and sometimes, let's see if this works. Well, I guess that didn't work. We're just gonna knit it. Well, I have to, I have to click preview, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we click preview and you see it didn't work. Like both of my plots are on the same tab, but the tabs did work, first plot, second plot. And that's what I meant by the tabs. However, this actually did work. It just doesn't work when you preview it. That's why I wanna show you a couple ways to render this. So let's get rid of preview and go straight to knit to HTML and click on knit. Let's save our file first, so Command S. And once I saved it, you click on knit, and it produces this file, and here we go. We have, as you can see, first plot is in the first plot tab, second plot is in the second plot tab. So I wanted to show you that little nuance with the preview, because you might get, you might be used to using preview a lot, or just know that there's an error somewhere where it doesn't show the plots correctly. But when you actually knit it, it does. And the, th the third way to actually look at this is to actually render it, so you can do uh, R markdown in the console and do render and just put the file name in there which this is called and I usually print out all the code so there's a parameter for that so when you render it well I'm not in the right path but that's the third way to do it when you render it uh, just make sure that you don't really use the preview button when you're doing stuff like this